Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. It's comment time. Yep, we got a little bit of memory. And we got a comment for Mr. Daniel Solomon. Now mind you, this is comment number, uh, I think 25 or 26 on this, but I'm not gonna go through all of those. What he's talking about here is the Mandela Effect. Now, my brother uh, has an interest in the Mandela Effect. He's always uh, bringing up these same arguments, um, and maybe why I'm taking a particular interest in it. But we're going to look at his comment here. Um, uh, what is the gist of his comment? He says that these, the Lord's Prayer has been changed. Now, if you don't know much about the Mandela Effect, you and I are in the same boat because I don't know much about it at all, but you can imagine you know answering these questions you tend to learn a few things about them and what the gist of it is is that um, they believe that the scripture has somehow changed from the early um, uh, early scripture old hundred year old Bibles um, used to say one thing in this case the word trespass or debt debtor and trespasser or debtor and it's now been uh, eliminated from current Bibles or something to that effect now <clears throat> like I said I haven't studied this a lot I can't pull out any verses here but I did look into the word debtor and trespasser here and let me show you what I did come up with this may solve the problem may be a solution but you know we'll see Alright, so I came over here <clears throat> looking at BibleGateway.com. I'm looking in Matthew chapter 6, which you will find the Lord's Prayer. And it uses the word debt and debtors in verse 12 says, And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Okay? But what I was telling him before is okay, there are four Gospels. Each one, some of the gospels may say something different. One gospel may say trespass, while another gospel may say debtor. And then, never mind all of the other translations. We're not going to get into those, but let's see what I found. So I come over here and I look at Luke chapter 11, which is also contains the Lord's Prayer. And verse 4 says, And forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. Okay. Now, <clears throat> and I didn't finish that verse, by the way. But it included the word indebted, indebted. Now, you go and you look at these two closely. One says, forgive us our debts. The other one says, forgive us our sins. Okay. Now, that's what I'm believing is the main cause of the Mandela effect is that there are different versions of the same gospel now they're both correct they're both correct there but and then there was also translations you could imagine how many other translations there are that say the exact same thing matter of fact just for grins and giggles um yeah let me do that let me put y'all on pause you won't notice that I'm going at all Okay, now I haven't looked at this yet, but what I've done is I've opened up some parallels <clears throat> over here in um, BibleGateway.com. I can push this button and I can add another parallel. And I let it pick it at random, look like it has the, there's the CD, I don't know, if the, I don't know what those are. Um, but let's look at the comparison with these just two in random. Okay, now let's go back down where we had. Better. verse 12 but look over here where in verse 12 it says forgive us for the ways we have wronged you just as we also forgive those who have wronged us <clears throat> let's go in in uh, let's look over this one over here it says forgive us for wrong as we forgive others keep us from being tempted blah 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 um, so yeah now let's come over here and look at Luke so you're already using different words now over here we're going to again search for the word debt and look right here in verse 4 it says forgive us our sins for we also forgive everyone who has wronged us 
Okay. Now these are probably the same translations. They like that word wrong. Um, yes, E, B, and C, D. So I can imagine this one over here is going to say wrong too. Or says, forgive us our sins and forgive everyone who has done wrong to us. So <clears throat> that's 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 what I'm attributing to the Mandela effect. But it's not finished. Let's look at the other versions. <clears throat> But what we find out is that there are no other versions, that the Lord's Prayer is only found in uh, Matthew and Luke. Matthew 6 and Luke 11. But what does, so, and I looked over and tried to find in John, and there was nothing in John. I looked for the word trespass. You can see all the way down here that there are none listed in the book of John for trespass. And I look for debt too, which you would find any word like debts or debtor or debtors. But when you look, there's none in the book of John. But let's look over here in Mark. I did find the word trespass in Mark. Now you're going back to Daniel's original argument. He says that the word trespass used to be in the Bible and it's not in there anymore. And the word debt, ter or debt has been replaced by it but if you look here even though Mark doesn't give you the Lord's Prayer look at Mark 11 verse 25 it says and when ye shall stand praying forgive if ye have aught against any that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses but if you do not forgive neither will your father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses now I believe this answers that. I believe that takes care of his his argument as far as that one is concerned. Now he may come up with others, and we may look into another into some of the others. But I believe all of this Mandela, Mandela effect, the changing of the Bible, is going to come down to just this. It's just a matter of translations. It's a matter of uh, gospels. There's gospels that you guys have never even heard of. The gospel of Thomas, the gospel of Mary, according to Mary, the gospel according to Peter. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of text written by a lot of different people on this stuff, and to to be cons to be overly concerned that someone said trespasses and someone else said debt or or debts. When those act, those words actually mean the same thing, they actually mean the same thing. I may may be uh, may may be an error. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna close it out there. Praise ye the Father. Hermes Academy. Oh, and subscribe to my channel. Power, patience, continence, and faith. We teach virtue.